Hi everybody, we are sharing the behind the scenes of Daily Spark TV Film Day and I am excited to share this particular artist with you, I'm sorry, author with you. Now I know that doing behind the scenes means different things to different people but when you have such great guests you can't let these moments pass you by again I have Robert Martin Bishop he's the author of I Jatibus and I'm really excited to pick his brain about his book hello Robert how are you thank you so much for being on with me today. I'm so glad to be here well, you know, I have to ask, and I know someone else is thinking it, I Jatibis, that is such an interesting title. Where did you get the title from? Well, the main character. Mm -hmm. um, the main character is Jatibis, and the, the premise of the book is that he's a fallen angel mm -hmm. who one day realizes that everything he's been doing is futile in the end. Mm -hmm. And so now, in total remorse, he needs to confess. So really the I, Jatibus, is the beginning of his confession mm -hmm. for what he's been doing. Mm -hmm. So is this kind of a suspense, thriller, mystery? Where should we place your book? In all of those categories. In all of those, right? Um, <laughs> It's, you know, I guess the, the, big, the big genre would be Christian fiction. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's a long Da Vinci Code mm -hmm. kind, of, uh, kind of things. But I did a lot of research before doing this, and no one's ever tackled that particular subject before mm -hmm. of someone like a fallen angel who realizes what he's been doing and now wants to confess mm -hmm. and save the world before Satan finds out what his plan is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. Now, for um, a book that tackles such an awesome subject, were you able to do this in a fairly quick period of time? Did this take two or three years, or would you say it kind of took a little bit longer? Well, I could say it took me 40 years. Okay. <laughs> in a way, it, it did. I, you know, I wrote mm -hmm. the prologue in college. Okay. And when I finished it as the result of a creative writing assignment, um, I knew that it was the prologue to a book. Right. And then for 40 years, I had that worm in my head mm -hmm. that just said, you need to write this book, you need to write this book. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, basically all 40 years gave me was you know, I had the prologue, it gave me the epilogue, <laughs> and then, you know, when I finally got to writing, it took, um, it took two years to put it all together. To put it all together. I love it. So it sounds like one of the tidbits of um, advice that you're giving is, is that no matter how the book writes itself, just make sure that you write. Right. Eventually, if you have that worm in your head, eventually you're going to sit down and write it, so you might as well start now. <laughs> I love it. You might as well just go on and well. write it. Yep. I love it. Well, it is almost time for us to start filming, so if you could please, can you remind everybody, where can they get a copy of your book? Well, it's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, practically every other online source okay. out there. Um, if you'd like to contact me directly, you know, it's at Robert Martin Bishop on Twitter, Robert Martin Bishop on Facebook, or email me directly at Robert Martin Bishop at gmail.com, uh, and uh, we'll find a way to get a book in your hands. All righty. Thank you so much for being on with me today. Thank you. Well, you guys, we've got work to do. I can't wait for you to see this episode. I'll see you soon. Bye.